Time is now 820. Welcome back to go. OK, in addition to the final four eclipse and home opener, there's another event to check out in Cleveland this weekend. Of course, I am talking about the Cleveland International Film Festival. It is back for its 48th year and joining me this morning is Patrick Shepard, the Cleveland International Film Festival Associate Director. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I know you have a full lineup of films. Yeah, we're in uh, Playhouse Square, one of the world's largest performing arts centers. We're in five of those historic theaters. Ooh. And on any given day, there's 25 different screenings uh, at, at uh, in, in such an amazing space there at Playhouse Square. Now, how many films do you all have um, uh, screening this weekend and or throughout the festival? We have 138 feature films, 225 short films from 60 different countries, and that adds up to over 260 screenings at Playhouse Square over 11 days. And you brought us a sneak peek of one of the films that we have. So let's take a look here at the trailer for Gradually, Then Suddenly, the bankruptcy of Detroit. So what can fans and audience members expect from this documentary? You know, it's a really fascinating look at uh, what happened in Detroit uh, over a dozen years ago and how they were in huge financial difficulties. And there were in interesting nuances. For example, the Detroit Institute of Art, many of their items in their collection were actually owned by the city of Detroit. So wow. when there's a bankruptcy proceeding, that, mean that, th that means that they could have sold off some of the art uh, from, the, from the Detroit Institute of Art. But it's a pretty extraordinary story of people coming together uh, to deal with a very challenging issue. And Detroit is thriving these days, that's the good news. And there's a City Club of Cleveland forum that's going to take place on Wednesday, April 10th at 12 noon. Very nice. And you have streaming as well. The uh, event is over like the going to the 13th, but you stream for a few days afterwards with that. So if you miss the festival, you can't do it this weekend because you have the eclipse and everything going on. You can go next weekend. If you miss that, we still have the streaming options <laughs> as well. So yep. you got to check it out. And the festival, it runs through next Saturday and you can find tickets on clevelandfilm.net and also use code WKYC for a dollar off of your purchase. Thank you, Patrick, so much for being here today. Thanks, Danielle. All righty. Now